Hey guys, I am Vishayak. Welcome all of you. Okay, so in this particular video, we'll be only dealing with questions. So I'll be giving you a number of questions. I'll be explaining you the questions and it is expected for you to do those questions. Okay, so let me explain you those questions. Let me give it to you. Okay. okay. So now uh, what kind of questions are, you, are we dealing with? We are dealing with like recursion question, of course, like you are in the recursion playlist. Okay, anyway. So in recursion, we are mainly dealing with number manipulations. Okay, so where then I'll give you a lot of questions. You need to go through each questions. Then after this, I'll create separate video on solutions for each and every questions. Okay, so the expectation is after this video, you should have a habit. Okay, these all questions I should solve in this particular order. So my number manipulation using recursion will be very much perfect. Okay, great. So let me give you some of the questions. The question number one. Okay, so this is a question. Okay, take a number. Okay, like let's suppose let's suppose you took n equal to five. Okay, so a print from one to five. Print from one to n. Okay, that means in a normal order. So wait a second. I'll first change it. Print from n to one. Okay, reverse order. Reverse order. Okay. D. What is the second thing that is expected to you? Is print from one to n. Okay, means normal order. Normal order. Okay, this things number three. Let's get to the third thing. <coughs> Print only even numbers. Only even numbers from one to n. Okay, now I totally leave up leave this to you in the reverse order or normal order because now you know after these two questions how to print it in reverse order or normal order. So you can do it. So make sure you solve this question with recursion, not loops. Otherwise, the point is lost. Okay, D. Okay. Okay. Now, next question is like you have to take a number. Okay. And find its factors. Sorry for this. Eh? And find its factors. Yes. Okay. So like, uh, for example, if you take 10, what are the factors of 10? 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 5, and 10. If you take 20, 1, 2, 4, 4 5, 10, 20. So you should print all those factors. Remember, again, recursion, don't think like loops. Okay, next question. Okay, so <clears throat> if I tell you now, okay. So these are so questions that are based on exactly same concepts. Okay, now I'm changing the concept. So you're taking a number n, so okay, print sum to that number. Print sum, print sum of natural numbers up to n. Sum of natural numbers. Natural numbers. Okay, up to n. I'll make it smaller. Okay, that means sum of natural number is like, uh, let's suppose you take a number five, Okay, so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Okay, sum of natural number up to 5. Okay, next question. Find factorial. What is factorial? Like, let's suppose if you have a number 5, so factorial of 5 will be 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So if any number is there, multiply that number till 1. Okay, so that will be factorial. So you take a number and find factorial of a number. Factorial of a number. I guess this pen is not working so nicely. Not a problem. I guess you got, got this question, but okay. Now let me take some other pen. Hmm. Okay, so once you have calculated factorial, awesome. So this will clear a lot of your basic questions. So now some good questions like Fibonacci series. Fibonacci series. That means take a number and find the uh, like what do you say? Uh, print all five series up to like 
let's suppose you take five. So print the first five Fibonacci series. So what is a Fibonacci series? So for a Fibonacci series, it's fixed. The first two numbers are zero and one. After that, the sum in the next number is sum of previous two numbers. What is zero and one? So zero plus one is one. One plus one is two. One plus two is three. Three plus two is five. Five plus three is eight. So on. So any number is a sum of previous two numbers. This number is a sum of previous two numbers. The starting numbers are zero and one. It's fixed. Okay. So you have to uh, like print this series using a recursion. Awesome. I guess uh, these are some good and basic questions to get started with recursion. Also, uh, like take. Uh, uh, I guess you can do, do find average of numbers till n, right? So till n, like let's suppose you have taken number as five. So of course it will find sum and divide by the number itself to get the average, right? Awesome. One second. Just a second click. Awesome. Great guys. So this is all the questions uh, that is there. I've taken a screenshot so that uh, I can send it to you later sometime if you want it. Okay. Anyway, so these are some of the questions that I want you guys to solve it. So once you solve this question, you'll be very co comfortable with like what do you say? How can you make any loop uh, directly? You can solve it like convert any loop to let's suppose uh, a recursion problem. Okay. Let me add one more question to you. Okay. So like basically two questions. Question number one is find power of a number. Like let's suppose you have two numbers, two and three, to two to the power three. Okay, so find power of a number. So in this case, of course, you have to take two number. Okay, so of course it will have two parameters a and b. The you have to calculate e to the power b. Okay, and the last question find the square of a number. Square of a number. Now we like how can I do it? Square of a number. So square and power is different. Yes, like uh, in power, of course, you have two parameters. In a square, I assume you to just take one parameter in the function. Okay, not take two parameters. Okay, so now you have to solve it. I guess that's okay. So these are some of the questions that we'll be discussing in the next few videos, and so that you can be totally comfortable with the number manipulation in recursion. Then we'll slowly go to strings, slowly go to arrays, and number of other topics. So you are very clear with these particular concepts. Okay, so that's great guys. I guess that's all from uh, my side in this particular video. And we'll get started with this in the next video with each problem at once. Okay, so perfect. Bye-bye. See you.